Our words and feelings are linked, each affecting the other, like a dance of words and emotions shaping the contours of our souls. If you are watching this video, then the universe chose you to do so. All your confusions will be clarified, keep watching. The human brain is an amazing organ, and many people believe it shows how wonderful nature is, or even see it as proof of God's work. This complex system of nerves and connections isn't just sitting there doing nothing, it's always changing and growing with us. The brain can make new connections even when we're adults, which goes against the old idea that our brains stop changing after we're kids. This ability to change is like a kind gift, similar to how we think of God being forgiving and adaptable, giving us chances to grow and improve, linking brain, soul, and divine wisdom. Throughout history, Many have thought of the brain as where our soul lives, linking us to God. The Bible in Romans talks about being transformed by renewing our minds to understand God better. Could it be that as our brain changes, we get better at understanding what God wants from us? If God made us in His image, then maybe our brain's ability to change reflects His ability to change too. As we go through life, our brains change, and maybe this helps us connect more with God, getting wisdom and guidance from this connection. Old religious texts like the Vedas, the Torah, and the Quran talk a lot about change, healing, and seeking wisdom. The way our brain can change, learn, and heal seems to fit well with these spiritual ideas. If our brain can learn and heal, maybe it's also made to understand messages from God, like tuning a radio to get a clear signal. A brain that's in good shape might be just right for picking up on God's messages. There's also something interesting about how our choices and environment affect our brain. In religion, we're often told to be around good people and avoid bad influences. Our brain works the same way it can either grow or shrink, depending on what we're around and the choices we make. In terms of faith, looking for wisdom, being patient and loving others are ways to get closer to God. From a scientific point of view, these good things shape our brain in positive ways. This suggests that our journey to understanding God is both about our spirit and our brain. When we make choices that are good for our mind, our connection to the divine might get clearer, showing up as new ideas, feelings, or a stronger sense of what we're meant to do. Continuing this exploration, the brain's role in interpreting our emotions and experiences provides a further bridge between the physical and the spiritual. Our emotional responses to life's challenges and joys can be seen as messages from the divine, guiding us towards a path of understanding and compassion. As we navigate through life's trials, our brain's ability to adapt and learn from these experiences can be viewed as a tool for spiritual growth. The more we understand ourselves and our emotions, the closer we may feel to a higher power, gaining insights into the mysteries of life and our purpose within it. Moreover, the collective wisdom of humanity stored in history and passed down through generations can be seen as a testament to the brain's capacity to connect with the divine. Each story, each lesson learned, is a step towards a greater understanding of our place in the universe. This collective journey, powered by the evolving human brain, suggests that our quest for knowledge and connection is not just a personal endeavor, but a shared ongoing dialogue with the divine. As we continue to learn and grow, both as individuals and as a species, the boundaries between the physical brain and the spiritual realm may blur, revealing a deeper, more profound connection to the universe and to each other. Words have always had a powerful effect. Throughout history, they've been responsible for creating entire worlds, changing the course of civilizations, and shaping people's lives. Words are deeply connected to our feelings they can heal or hurt, lift someone up or bring them down, bring us together or push us apart. This isn't just true in our everyday interactions, but also in our spiritual lives. Words help us connect with something greater than ourselves. A famous line from the Bible, and the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God shows just how important words are in many religions. The way words make us feel can actually change our brains. When we hear or say things that are kind and loving, it's like lighting up a path in our minds, helping us feel closer to a higher power. But if words are mean or hateful, they can make us see things in a negative light, 
and hold us back spiritually. The words we choose, whether talking to others or to ourselves, really matter. Positive, kind words can help us feel a deeper connection with God, filled with love and compassion. It's not just about what we say, though our emotions, which come from a part of the brain called the limbic system, are always changing because of what's happening around us. These feelings can have a big impact on how close we feel to God. If we're angry or upset, it might be hard to feel that spiritual connection. But when we're calm and at peace, even if things around us are tough, we can feel closer to God. Taking care of our emotions, calming ourselves down, helps us be ready to listen to what God is saying to us. Our words and feelings are linked, each affecting the other. Ancient texts warn us about the dangers of saying things without thinking, and modern science agrees. It's important to remember that harsh words hurt not just the person they're aimed at, but the person saying them too. Asking for guidance from above can help us choose our words wisely. The prayer from Psalms, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, is a reminder of how closely our words, feelings, and spiritual journey are connected. Our everyday conversations and inner dialogues are more than just exchanging information or thoughts. They are a dance of words and emotions, each step influencing our journey in life and our spiritual paths. Like a river carving its way through a landscape, our words and feelings shape the contours of our souls. The stories we tell ourselves and others carry the power to build bridges or walls, to open doors to understanding or close them in misunderstanding. Every word we utter is a brushstroke in the painting of our lives, and each emotion we experience is a color on the palette. By choosing our words with care and understanding our emotions, we're not just communicating, we're crafting a masterpiece of our existence, one that resonates with the harmony of the universe. The ancient sages knew this truth, and modern psychology echoes it. The words we speak are the architects of our destiny, and the emotions we feel are the fuel for our spiritual journey. As we navigate the complexities of life, let's remember the power of our words and emotions. Let them be the light that guides us through the darkness, the compass that directs us toward a life of purpose, harmony, and divine connection. The human brain is amazing. It can change and grow all through life, a process called neuroplasticity. This shows us not only how we can learn and improve, but also how special our minds are. It's like there's a plan for our minds that helps us grow and get closer to God. This journey involves a rule known as the law of cause and effect. It's a big idea in many religions, saying that everything we do, think, or feel has results. Our brains change with our actions, thoughts, and feelings. This law also reminds us that we're responsible for our actions. So take action and hit the subscribe button soon. When we're kind, loving, and compassionate, we not only make ourselves better, but also invite God's blessings. There's also the law of adaptation. It's about how our brains can change based on what we experience. Like the sayings, hang out with wise people and you'll become wise or don't be friends with someone who's always angry, these ideas tell us that being around good or bad things can change our minds and behaviors. They suggest that God guides us to be around good things helping us grow spiritually. Then there's the law of choice. We have the power to make decisions that shape our lives, but spiritually this is really important. God gives us free will to choose paths that bring us closer to Him or take us away. Making good choices helps us live a spiritually rich life. Our brains don't just change pathways, they can also grow new brain cells. This is like our spiritual journey where we keep learning and improving our understanding of God. Learning about religion or other things shows our eagerness to understand God's mysteries. And just as our brains can grow and renew, our souls can also be refreshed. God's mercy and forgiveness let us leave behind old mistakes and start anew. This mix of brain power and God's grace shows us the endless chances for personal and spiritual growth. Growth isn't easy, though. Our brains and souls can be swayed by outside stuff, so we need to be careful. The law of diversion tells us that when we can't get what we want, our brain can focus on other things. Spiritually, this means that when one way is blocked, God might show us different paths with their own lessons and chances to grow. 
Also, shocks in brain development, like intense experiences, can actually help our brains grow. This is similar to how life's tough times, allowed by God, can make our faith and character stronger. All these laws cause and effect, adaptation, choice and diversion show us how the human experience is both about our brains and our spiritual lives. Our brains, with their complex workings and ability to adapt, are proof of God's incredible design. And the divine laws guiding us help us move towards a higher spiritual level. In the intricate and vast world of the human mind, the idea that we can communicate with the divine is both intriguing and believable. When we dive into how the brain works, its ability to change, and the impact of words and feelings, we might just uncover the secret to understanding these mysterious divine messages. Our brains, a complex and fascinating network combined with spiritual wisdom, reveal a universe where science and faith coexist peacefully. They are like dance partners in a beautiful ballet, each making the other richer and more meaningful. It could be in a sudden moment of clarity, a timely spoken word, or the quiet that comes in the middle of turmoil that we might hear God speaking to us. We just need to fine-tune our minds and hearts to hear these messages. Imagine if we could tap into this divine communication regularly. What wonders we might discover. Each day could bring a new revelation, a fresh perspective, a deeper understanding of the world around us and the universe beyond. And so, this journey of tuning into divine communication is not just about listening, it's about evolving. It's about letting our thoughts and feelings guide us to a higher understanding. Perhaps this journey might lead us to see life in a different light, where every moment holds a potential message, a lesson from the divine. This exploration could transform how we view our existence, making us realize that we are part of a grand interconnected cosmic dance with every step we take guided by a force much greater than ourselves. With this, I encourage you to ponder over these concepts and share your thoughts below.